My initial goal for 2024 was honestly to focus on Drift Masters. Now with that being said, I have always had this curiosity of how the US E36 would compete in FD, if it could hang with some of the pro cars. My loose plan for 2024 was just to run it at FD Orlando. It's a local track and there's not a lot of costs associated where, you know, I could just show up. If it does great, cool. If I don't even qualify, it's whatever. But uh, we wound up having an event that was just a couple weeks before Long Beach and the car was already out there. So I said, you know what, screw it. Let's go to Long Beach. It's one of my favorite tracks. And it would be cool to see how the car stacks up with all the other FD cars and drivers. Going into Long Beach, I really didn't have any expectations um, because the car is not really built for Formula Drift. It was one of the scenarios where like, if it does really well, it's awesome. And if it doesn't do great, no one really expected it to. Uh, so for me, I really didn't have much weight on my shoulders. It was kind of like, go have a good time. And that we did. I'm a massive fan of the new seating bracket and I feel like Long Beach was the perfect example of what I love about it. Um, in the past, I've not qualified at events or been knocked out in the top 32 battle and you leave feeling pretty defeated. You didn't really get an opportunity to showcase your driving. You didn't really get to have any good battles where at Long Beach, during the seating bracket, I had so many good battles and uh, the biggest highlights for me were my battles with Shanahan. Um, literally the best driving I've ever done at Long Beach and even though I wound up getting knocked out in my top 32 battle, I got second in the seating bracket and it made for some amazing footage to get shared on social media. I feel like it was a great representation of my driving and of course, it was a lot of fun. I would have loved to have won my first top 32 battle, uh, but the clutch slippage scenario definitely didn't help. Um, we knew that we were on our upper limits of our clutch and I had one slippage issue off the line in practice, but ultimately when I went to go fire off behind Forsberg, clutch flared up and by the time I could get the tires to start spinning, it was too late and the run was over. So uh, I definitely left hungry because the seating bracket made me feel like I could actually do really well in that car. And um, I was looking forward to going into Orlando with uh, hopefully a better clutch scenario and be able to really show what I could do. Atlanta was not on the table, uh, but unfortunately my car that I was sending over to Driftmasters got caught up with a whole logistical problem that came about from the bridge collapse up in Baltimore. Uh, so basically my car didn't make it in time for the first round of Driftmasters. I said, well, what should I do? Should I go to Driftmasters, spend a bunch of money and drive a car that I know nothing about? Um, Cause there were a couple options of rental cars on the table. Or do I go and drive Formula Drift with my car here uh, that I know pretty well and it felt like it would be a somewhat equal trade-off to my partners just to be able to still kind of represent them in a competitive format. Atlanta's a big track and we knew that we need more power and some more torque than we currently had so we threw a bigger turbo on it and uh, we went in there with about another 200 horsepower than we had previously. Top 32 in Atlanta, I went up against Matt Field. I chased first and I felt like I put down a pretty solid chase. It was not a finals chase by any means, but I think it could have been enough to win. Um, unfortunately, Matt was pushing very hard in his chase. Wound up giving me a little bit of a boop on transition. I made the decision in the moment to lift off the throttle because it was sending me way off of my trajectory and it was gonna basically make me spin out and probably cause a collision. Um, however, the judges didn't see it that way and they told me that I should have stayed in the throttle and spun out and because that I didn't, uh, they wound up actually giving him the win. So it was a, a definitely a bummer in the moment because, you know, in retrospect, it's a very easy change to make and the battle might have actually gone our way. But, you know, you live and you learn. And now uh, in that scenario, I'll spin out, let the cars crash and then hopefully get the win.